In this tutorial episode, you will learn how to create and send professional looking emails with ease using PeopleSoft application. You can follow along with me and do a hands-on exercise to compose and send an email similar to the one that you see on the screen. By the way, my name is Siva Koya and welcome to my channel. Let me break down the steps that we are going to perform as part of today's exercise. We will begin by creating a notification template. In this template, we will specify essential details of the email such as sender's identity, email subject and placeholder for the actual content. Basically, we will define how the email should appear to the recipients. The beauty of notification templates is you can change the content on the fly and no code migration is involved for every change in email content. Next, we will focus on email content itself. We will leverage Microsoft Copilot to help us draft a well-composed email. We will customize the message, add relevant information and ensure it looks professional. Finally, we will create an app engine to send our email. In our app engine, we will utilize the notification libraries provided by Oracle PeopleSoft. These libraries streamline the process of sending emails within PeopleSoft application. They handle the technical aspects, ensuring that our emails are delivered efficiently. Since now you know my plan, let's dive in and execute each step. To create a notification template, I will navigate to People Tools, Workflow, Notifications, Generic Notification Templates. Let's add a new notification template. I will click on Add button. Let's give a name to our template. I will call it Newsletter. I will click on the Add button. Let's give a description to our newsletter. I will call it PeopleSoft Channel Newsletter. Keep in mind, this description doesn't appear anywhere in the email. Just in case if someone else opens this notification template, it is for them to understand the purpose of this notification template. Here, I will set the default priority for my notification. Next, we have to select from whom the email should come from. If we select user, it will use the email address of the requester who is kicking off the process that sends the email. If we use system, it will use the sender email address that we configured in our SMTP setup. I will use other. I am hard coding the sender email address here. Now I will input the subject of the email that we are going to send. Let's move on to message text. This is where we have to define the main content of the email. However, instead of manually typing it out, we will take advantage of Microsoft Copilot to compose the email for us. Let's proceed with this exciting step. I fired up my Edge browser. Now I will navigate to Bing.com. Next, I will click on Copilot. Browser automatically took me to the chart option. Now I'm going to ask Microsoft Copilot to generate a sample newsletter for us about Sachin Adanla and how he transformed Microsoft in HTML format specifically because HTML provides polished and professional appearance for our email content. And the best part is we are allowed to use HTML tags inside our notification template. I will go ahead and put in my request. After I click on the enter button, now you can see Copilot is generating our newsletter in HTML format. Here we go. Copilot even added picture to make the content more appealing. Let me copy the content that our Copilot generated and paste it in our notification template. Let me head back to Copilot. Now I will copy the image link as well. Now let's head back to our notification template. Let's pick a spot and place the image. I want to place the image under the heading. 
I will place the cursor right next to my header. Now I will open a HTML tag for image. I will type img src equal to within quotes I will paste the URL that I copied from Copilot. Next I will close the HTML tag. I will go ahead and save my changes because I am happy with my content. If you are curious about how this content will appear in our email, even before writing email logic, we can easily test it out using some online tools. Let me show you. First, I will copy our content. Then I will navigate to a website called html.onlineviewer.net. Here, I will paste our content. As soon as I paste it, you can see the preview how it appears on our email. This is exactly how I want the email to be. Since I am happy with the content, let's go ahead and write the logic to kick off the email. I am going to create an App Engine program to send our email notification. Good news is Oracle PeopleSoft has already done heavy lifting for us in the form of notification libraries. All we need to do is invoke those libraries and pass the necessary values to trigger the email. Alright, let's do it. To create a new App Engine, I will click on the New button. I will select App Engine Program. I will click OK. Then I will insert an action. I will select People Code. Now I will save our program. I will click OK. Now I will double click to open the People Code Editor. I don't want you to see me typing the logic. Why don't we grab the template people code from PeopleBooks itself? Let me grab boilerplate code from PeopleBooks. I will navigate to my browser. I will search for generic templates online PeopleBooks. Okay, I will select the first result. I will scroll down. Here is the people code that we can leverage to kick off our email notification. I will copy this people code logic and place in our people code editor. Let me delete the plain text that's not part of the people code logic and I will go ahead and save my changes. Let's update this logic to suit our needs. Let's start by updating the target email address. This is where the email will be sent to. I will give a valid email address. This is where we have to update our notification template name. Next, I am going to comment the logic that is passing dynamic values to our notification template since we are not passing any dynamic values to our notification template. Here, we can provide the sender email address but in our case, it should come from template so I will blank it out. Next, the most important part we have to tell the logic that we are using HTML content as part of our email message. The way I do it is pasting this line of code, updating the content type to HTML and character set to UTF-8. Once I update this value, I will go ahead and save my changes. That's it guys, our people code logic is ready. We have one last step before we can test the process. I am going to add our app engine as a process through front end and then kick off the process. To register our App Engine as a process, I will navigate to People Tools, Process Scheduler, Process Scheduler Processes. Let's add our App Engine as a process. We have to make sure our App Engine is spelled correctly. Let's update the description of our process. Let's add our process to a delivered component. PRCS multi, we are going to navigate to this page and kick off the process in a second. Let's add our app engine to the process group FSOL. I will go ahead and save my changes. Now it's time to kick off the process. I will navigate to schedule process request page. I will add a new run control. Then I will click on run button. I will search for our process. I'll click OK. I see a new email in my inbox. If I click on it, now I can see the email that I sent using our notification template. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and sharing it so that others can benefit as well. I hope to see you in my next episode. Until then, keep learning.